There's no denying that Rockstar is one of the most talented and innovative developers in the world, so there is always a constant need to play their games whether it's new or old. Over the last couple of years, Rockstar has tried to keep their classic titles on current consoles, whether it's through remasters or just a simple port. The most recent example of this is the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy, which was an awful attempt at a remaster of the 3D GTA series. Grove Street Games spearheaded this project and it was a disaster. The only good takeaway I can say was that Vice City was decently remastered, but the other two games were riddled with bad textures, glitches and awful remodeling of characters. Now here we are with Red Dead Redemption being ported over to the Switch. Red Dead Redemption is one of its generation's best games and Rockstar definitely went the safe route with this port over. This port was developed by Double Eleven who has experience with ports. Now what does all this bring? Well it comes with the entire game, the Undead Nightmare DLC, and it's available for Nintendo Switch and weirdly enough PlayStation 4. This Wild West port will set you back 50 US dollars. For starters, this is a good port, but for the wrong price. I know we all wanted a remake or a remaster of John Marston's story, but we got what we got. Red Dead Redemption on the Nintendo Switch is cranked up to 1080p, 30 frames per second, and I think it gives the game more clarity graphically. For a 13 year old game, this doesn't look bad at all on its new Nintendo home. Game also runs at a pretty decently smooth 720p, 30 frames per second on undocked mode on the Nintendo Switch. And the best part about being undocked is you can bring Red Dead Redemption on the go. So that means you can do your rootin', tootin', cowboy shootin' anywhere. Overall, the game runs relatively smoothly. The controls are tight and responsive on the Nintendo Switch. I know we're talking about a 13 year old game here, but I wish Double Eleven would have touched up some of the textures to vegetation and character models. These are the two areas where the game truly starts to show its age. With this being just a straight port over to the Nintendo Switch, we can finally relive John Marston's story after the events of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now of course, we all know that John Marston is tasked with finding Bill Williamson in the beginning of the game, and then John gets one-shotted and left for dead. If you have recently beaten RDR2, then this story, especially this scene, just hits different. You feel more a part of the ongoing conflict within the gang, and it feels more personal. Overall, it's great that we can replay Red Dead Redemption in its original form on the Nintendo Switch, and there's nothing wrong with a light for light port over, but no multiplayer for the Undead Nightmare DLC, no new quality of life updates, no PC port, and a steep $50 price tag, it's hard for me to recommend this game right now. I'd say it's best to wait for a sale or a pretty decent price drop. My name is Curtis with the Soul Dojo Gaming Channel. You guys can follow me on Twitter or X or whatever it's called at Cali from the Dojo. And make sure you guys subscribe to the Soul Dojo Gaming Channel. You guys have been great. Get in the comments. What do you guys think about the Red Dead Redemption on Switch or on PlayStation 4, whatever you're playing it on. So yeah, like the video also, and I'll check you guys later, all right? Peace. Point across, get your picture point across. Get your point across, get your picture point across.